Our strategic plan, as we presented this to our board just a few weeks ago, uh, we did have blueprint, and one trustee said this needs to be a teal print. So I agree. I think that was very clever. Uh, so this is the teal print for the future. We work with the, with the McNair Group, who's a very capable group of, uh, of consultants uh, that have been through this many times with different uh, individuals and, and entities and organizations out of Charleston. And thank especially David McNair, because he's the one that's been our point of contact. You can never go wrong with quoting uh, a, a book that was written in the 6th century B.C., uh, The Art of War, Sun Tzu. Those of you who've been down to, to Charleston, I think it's called Three Churches there by the market. Um, they actually wrote the entire book on the ceiling and on the rafters and on the beams and the trusses and everything. But every battle is won before it is ever fought. I don't mean to read it more into that quote than is there. But strategy and anticipation of some of the challenges we're facing has been a key integral part of why we went through this process. You hear about the demographic cliff. Uh, you hear about enrollment shrinking at various Midwestern or Northeastern institutions. You hear about how there are fewer 18 and 19 year olds uh, coming down the pike here in the next while. So we are approaching this as uh, it really is a, something we have to kind of gird up and be ready to go. And so in that sense, uh, we took our alma mater, which I was very glad at graduation from our vantage point on the stage, we can see who, who knows the words and who does not. And uh, we have more that do not, and we're going to address that because it's a beautiful, um, it's a beautiful song. The, the words are meaningful. You know, the tune is not, you know, Hail to the Victors or, or uh, the Notre Dame fight song, but still in all, it's ours, and we should own it, and we should know it. And the very first stanza here, we come to you to lead our shirts and learn to reach beyond ourselves. You've heard us talk about the three R's. There's a fourth R as it relates to resiliency. But to incorporate this idea of reaching, of extending ourselves, of thinking beyond our campus, of thinking beyond our tenures here, uh, this is a plan that we hope will have not just a shelf life for a fixed amount of time, but it will be a living, breathing document that will help guide <clears throat> what we do now and into the future. And we purposely did the master plan and the strategic plan at the same time. Because if you talk about some of your pillars or initiatives within the strategic plan, but you don't have the campus infrastructure to accommodate it, to affect it, uh, you're not doing yourselves any favors. So we're also doing, as you may or may not know, a comprehensive capital campaign, but it's still in the quiet phases. So when we get to a certain amount of our total goal, we'll announce where we are and in some of the uh, areas where we really want to focus. So again, reach beyond ourselves. Uh, reach for whatever we believe is possible. So in that uh, spirit, We've come up with a video, and I'd like to share that with you right now. Our university is more than just a collection of buildings. It's a vibrant community of thinkers, dreamers, and doers. It's a place to belong where ideas take shape, where knowledge is cultivated, and where lives are transformed. Our Teal Print for the Future represents the transformative journey of our community, a journey that defines our future as a university and the legacy we leave for generations to come. Each member of Teal Nation plays an essential role in the fulfillment of this plan through the pillars of learning and advancing student success living and celebrating our thriving campus community, and leaving a lasting legacy by making a difference beyond our campus. These pillars anchor us in purpose and move us toward our shared vision, while the keystones provide the foundation needed for the pillars to stand firmly. But the most vital component of the plan is you. CCU Reach is a call to action for us for all of Teal Nation, for each faculty and staff member, for each student and each alumnus, for each community member, and for every Chanticleer to reach up to achieve your potential, reach out to serve others around you, and reach across to bring people together. 
Our vision is clear, to be a beacon of academic excellence and a catalyst for positive change in the world and in the lives of each individual connected to Teal Nation as we strive to reach beyond ourselves. We had a group of, we have 11 members in our, our, um, our state delegation, senators and representatives, and five of the 11 were on campus today, or yesterday, excuse me, had a luncheon before uh, the gavel drops on Tuesday up in Columbia, and we wanted to talk about some of the things we'll discuss today. But I told them our primary focus as an institution of higher education is just that. It's intentional that we start with learning. Uh, yes, we have a living, vibrant community uh, of, of student life and student affairs and all the ancillary activities that we do from athletics to campus rec and everything else that makes that experience ever uh, even better. But at our core, we are about teaching and learning. And that's what we started with, uh, and that's why we have it first. Advancing our student success, put them in a position to be successful. Create a thriving campus community, not just for our students, for you as faculty and staff, but for our community. Uh, for those 450,000 South Carolinians that do not have a college degree, that we want to get them back to campus or online or in some weekend program or, or evening program. Um, as we talk about the master plan, some of the facilities that we have proposed to draw people into campus, whether it's cultural activities or expanded athletic uh, facilities or campus recreation, uh, or any number of, of, of activities. And then finally, legacy, making a difference beyond our campus. Uh, look, each of us is in our position for a season. We don't know how long that will be. Uh, but our job is to take what we've got, build on what others have put in place for us, and to make it better. The old Scott model, leave it better than how you found it. Um, and that's the legacy that I hope that we'll think about. Legacy made with a Saul L. I'm not talking about statues or names on buildings. What we individually, each of us, uh, does in our respective areas. And then the keystones which undergird this entire plan are efficiency and sustainability. We are in a unique environment here at Coastal as it relates to sustainability and resiliency and ensuring that we are efficient. Uh, Alan West at our board meeting talked about some of the efficiencies along with HR that we're already implementing. Um, not to say that what was done in the past is a bad thing, but there are best practices out there that we can emulate. Uh, and I don't want us to ever shy away from doing those by saying, well, that's not what we've done in the past. Because we want to do what's efficient, uh, what's the most um, time effective uh, as we move forward. This is another uh, plan over you. Travis, this is, is this going to be on the website? This is a little kind of a bifold that we share with the board, but a lot of it is in the, uh, the brochure. So I hope you'll take time, review it. If you'd like to come to the session this afternoon, discuss it. But if you have feedback, please let us know. This is, as I said, a living, we hope a living and breathing document. These little things that just popped up, uh, we adjusted. We made uh, different kind of iterative changes uh, as we heard back from people, as we had the session. So you can see uh, some of the, the things that were especially emphasized by people who participated either in person or uh, via online or in some other uh, method or mechanism.